These South and West Side homeowners are angry. Protect they believe the city has overextended itself and should be putting the tens of millions of dollars earmarked for migrants into Chicago's most vulnerable neighborhoods. But the South Side has been under resourced, underfunded for years, for decades. We have schools that need to be reopened. We have buildings that are abandoned that need to be business operated. The group says the city has abandoned its Invest Southwest initiative, a Lightfoot era program that was dedicated to reversing decades of disinvestment on Chicago's south and west sides, promising to align more than $2.2 billion through public and private funding. We are taxpayers, we're property owners, our money should go towards fixing our communities. The city has received more than 15,000 migrants since August 2022. We have no more room. Y'all are embarrassing Chicago as a whole. According to analysis by the ABC7 data team, there are more than 20 active migrant shelters across the city, seven located on the south and west sides. Whether it's one shelter or whether it's 10 shelters, we're saying the facilities that are there for us the money needs to be put into those facilities for us. In a statement from the mayor's office about the group's concerns and the status of Invest Southwest, a spokesperson says in part, quote, we are committed to continued investment for all residents, but especially communities on the south and west sides that have long experienced disinvestment. We are the city of Chicago, and our shoulders are big enough to support both new arrivals and those who have long called this city home. Mayor Johnson, the black aldermen, the black alderwomen, in this city, you will stand for the black citizens of Chicago. Now, the city says Mayor Johnson knows firsthand the impact of neglect on a vulnerable community and that he will never stop investing in people, all people, and delivering the affordable housing, fully funded schools, safer streets, and living wages that every person deserves in this city. So, obviously, you're hearing the mayor is saying that um, the city can, it has big enough shoulders to handle both the, mm -hmm. the south and west sides, all of the neighborhoods, as well as the new arrivals. But, of course, the people you heard from, they, they believe otherwise, and they're hoping that that more attention be focused on the south and west sides. One of many layers to the migrant crisis, yes. certainly. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.